Hey everyone, this is Heather with the Potomac Bead Company. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet called the Papyrus Bracelet. As you can see, this bracelet has a variety of beads. Uh, it is fairly simple and it does move kind of fast. It does move kind of quickly, so it works up quickly. Um, this The technique is based on the same technique that we use on our Imperial Bracelet. If you watch that video or if you've made a bracelet, um, like uh, of the Imperial bracelet, then this is very similar. Um, so the, I'm gonna go over the materials that you'll need and what you see here. I have pyramid beads, I have O beads, 11 O seed beads, and bugle beads. Um, and it's, it's actually really fun to make. So you'll need about, this is a seven inch bracelet or a little bit over seven inch. And I actually used 24 uh, pyramids that you see here. So, and we sell them in a pack of 25. The size that, that these pyramids are actually the six by six millimeter. The color that you see here is a Jet AB and it is two hole. Um, so if you need to make a larger bracelet or a longer bracelet, then you'll have to think about how many you'll need um, or you can just um, get rid of the one last row and then make your bracelet just a two row two pyramid row here if you want to use these pyramids to add on to your length so that's something to consider um, I only used a couple grams of my 11 O seed beads and a couple grams of my O beads. Um, as you can see, I'm using bugles and they are actually the six millimeter bugles. And the color that I'm using here was a turquoise. And as you can see as well, I'm using the toggle and clasp in my seed beads. I wasn't too fond of the way that I did this. So we're going to be revamping it and being, a, we're just going to get a little bit more creative. Um, I was kind of fiddling around with it. So uh, we'll do a different type of um, toggle or clasp here when we create our bracelet. And as you can see, I use the pyramids for my toggle. And we're, like I said, we're going to recreate it, make it a little bit um, more appealing. I was just kind of playing around to see what, I, what it would look like. So um, anyway, so you'll also need size uh, beading needle size 10 or 12 for the project and you'll need some beading wire. Um, wildfire is what I'm using and in the size that I'm using is a 0 .008 inch. You want to go ahead and cut about two feet worth or two arms length worth of thread and if you need to add on thread we have a video that shows you how to add on thread. Uh, definitely don't want you cutting your piece and starting all over again. So you do you might want to add on more thread. Um, I went ahead and put my stop bead on my thread and we're gonna get started with the project. The colors that I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna stick pretty much with the same colors except I'm changing up my, my pyramids. I wanted to give everybody um, a different feel of the pyramids that are out there. So the pyramids that I'm using here, it's actually uh, a crystal vitrile. Um, and like I said, it's size six by six and I have 25 sitting here. I'm gonna use the same 11 O seed beads. They are kind of like a dark purple um, black color here. Um, and then I'm also gonna use the same color O beads that I had for the project that I made here. The O beads that I'm using are um, a crystal magic blue. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to stick with the same six millimeter bugle beads that I have here and there. Again, they are the opaque turquoise. So um, we're going to get started here. So when, after you've gathered your material, let's, let's get it started. I'm going to pick up my pyramid bead. Um, as you can see there, it's a two hole. So this, this does get tricky because sometimes you will be taking your pyramid through the right side of the uh, two hole bead or to the left hole. So for to begin this project, I'm actually going to take my needle through the left hole of the pyramid. I'm going to drop that down to my stop bead. And then I'm going to pick up an 11 O seed bead, a bugle bead, and an O bead. Another bugle bead and 11 O seed bead. That, that's your pattern right there. And then I'm gonna pick up another triangle, making sure, or another pyramid, making sure my needle is going through the left hole, the hole closest to the left side. And then I'm gonna repeat the pattern. Pick up an 11-0 seed bead, a bugle bead, 
an O bead, a bugle, and 11 O seed bead. And then you're gonna pick up another pyramid bead, making sure your needle's going through the left side, the hole closest to the left side. And then you're gonna pick up an 11 O, a bugle, an O bead, another bugle, and then finish the sequence off with an 11 O seed bead. And you're gonna keep doing this until you've achieved the length of your bracelet. So pick up a pyramid bead, an 11 O, a bugle, an O bead, a bugle, and then 11 O. And you'll have to test the length of your bracelet by just wrapping it around your wrist. So once you get to the approximate length, like this one that I have here, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I have seven columns or seven pyramids. Um, and what I did was I just kind of wrapped it around my wrist and I left about a good inch um, for my toggle on my clasp. So that's going to help you decide how much or how long you're going to keep going. So go ahead and continue until you've achieved the length that you want. Okay, so once you've gotten to the desired length of your bracelet and we're at the end, what we're gonna do is pick up an 11O, an O bead, an 11O, and then we're gonna swing our project around so we could finish the bottom. So I'm gonna take my needle down that second hole of my pyramid and holding my project in place I'm just gonna gently pull. And that's what you're gonna get. And I'm gonna flip my project around just because it's easier for me to work from left to right than from right to left. Um, and if you, <clears throat> if you can't do that, um, then we can reverse, but at this point, you're gonna continue the same pattern. You're gonna pick up an 11O, a bugle, an O bead, another bugle, oops, and an 11O, and you can drop that down, and then you can see where we're gonna go. We're gonna take our needle through that second hole of our pyramid, just like that. And we're gonna pull. Make sure it's sitting. You wanna make sure it's nice and tight too. And then you're gonna keep going, repeating the same pattern, making sure you're connecting with the second hole of each pyramid until you get to the very end of the bracelet. Okay, so once you've completed the second row, of your bugles and your O's and you've gotten down to your pyramid bead. Now we're actually going to turn our project over and add another pyramid bead. And to do that, what you're gonna do is pick up an 11 O, an O bead, an 11 O. And this, this is just our embellishment for the end. You don't need to have an embellishment on the sides. I like it because it kind of hides that, the string that you're gonna see. Um, and now I'm gonna pick up my my pyramid and what I'm gonna kind of visualize here is this is how we want our O bead sitting so like I said we want it sitting right next to the next pyramid so make sure you take your needle through that left side we're gonna drop it down and position it so that it's right next to it so you guys have a visual and what we're gonna do is take our needle um, Take our needle through the second hole, or the, the first hole actually, that's facing the pyramid, of the first pyramid up top. We're actually gonna take that needle back through and pull. So it just kind of brings, I'm gonna lift it up so that you guys can see it, just kind of brings the pyramid together. So. You're taking your needle through the left hole of the, of the second pyramid and then your needle goes back through that 
the right side hole of the first pyramid. And then what we're going to do to stabilize it is I'm just going to, I'm going, I'm going to skip my 11 O and my OB to my 11 O. I'm going to skip all that. And I'm just going to take my needle back up through that left sided hole of my O bead and just kind of pull, get it nice and tight. And if you don't make it too t if you can't get it too tight, it is really difficult to keep it nice and stabilized. So and that's how you get it stabilized. And now we're ready to complete the sequence. So keep 11 O, bugle, O bead, and a bugle, and then an 11 O. <clears throat> and now we're ready to add another pyramid bead. So I'm going to make sure that my, I'm going to add a pyramid, pyramid bead by taking my needle through the left side, the left hole, bring that down, and we're going to attach it to the pyramid above it by taking our needle from right to left, that bottom hole, and then pulling nice and tight positioning our pyramid bead so it's sitting right next to it as you can see and then bringing our needle back through the pyramid that we just added bringing it back through the top hole or the left side hole I know it gets kind of confusing top left which, which one am I doing and then pulling nice and tight so you're pretty much just kind of doing a circle with your needle and thread because you want to attach it. And then you're going to do the sequence, sequence again. 11 O, bugle, O bead, bugle bead, and an 11 O. Drop that down. And I'm going to show you one more time how we add the pyramid bead. Add a pyramid bead, making sure it's you're taking your needle through that left side. And then taking your needle through the, top, the bead before it, taking your needle through the second hole or the bottom hole, the, the one closest to the, the lower bead, and then taking your needle back up through the pyramid bead that you just added. Essentially just creating a circle. So then you're going to continue this pattern as above until you get to the end. And then when you're adding on, you're going to do the same thing that you did here. You're going to add an 11 O, O bead and 11 O, and then you're going to do the second row. And then you're going to do the same thing for how many rows that you want. If you're happy with just two pyramids, a two pyramid column, then that's when you would stop and we'll add the toggle and clasp. Or if you want to do one more row, and I'm going to show you how to finish it off. So you're going to continue the same pattern here all the way through until you've achieved your desire width of your bracelet. Okay, so I've completed my project and hopefully you're at that point too where you've, you're, um, you're done. Um, and like I said, I've done three columns of my pyramids. And what, when you finish your project, your thread should actually be coming out of the bottom left down here. Um, but I went ahead and just, um, I went ahead and threaded. What you're going to need to do is to get this thread back over to this side, your needle and thread back over here, so you can add on your clasp um, or your toggle. What you need to do is actually... If your, your needle is coming out of this end, you have to take your needle back down the second hole of your pyramid um, and then just kind of bead weave completely straight across until you get to the very end. And that's how we're going to finish off our project and we're going to do our toggle. And I'm actually going to use our pyramid beads. I'm going to use four of them um, instead of the three because we're just going to kind of do it a little bit differently than what I had on my other project. So... Um, so at this point, what we're going to do is I don't want to, I actually don't want to be in the middle of my pyramid. So I'm going to go to the left, the left pyramid, and I'm just going to take my needle down and then I'm going to go again to the left and take my needle up that hole. 
And then I'm gonna go to the left again and take my needle down. And then I'm gonna go to the left again and take my needle, if it'll let me, up just the pyramid. Now at this point, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm actually just gonna add some O beads, I mean um, 11 O seed beads. So I'm gonna pick up, let's see how it looks if I just pick up five. So we might wanna do a little bit more, six, seven, eight. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Um, and then at this point, what I'm gonna do is pick up four more 11 O seed beads. One, two, nope, I don't want five. I just want four. And this is where the tricky part comes in. Actually, I'm gonna use just three pyramids because I'm, I'm gonna keep it consistent. So the tricky part is you're gonna take your needle up through two of the pyramids, the left-hand side, and drop that down. We're gonna pick up two 11 O seed beads and go to the take our needle down the right side of the pyramid bead. Just like that, I'm gonna hold it in place, and move my O beads here. And at this point, I'm gonna pick up my last pyramid bead, but I'm actually gonna take my needle, well, this, I, want my, I want it laying like that. So I'm gonna take my needle through the left hand side like I have been. Keep it consistent. And at this point, what I'm gonna do is add two seed beads and go down two, two of my O beads. And then at this point, I'm going to pick up three of my seed beads, go down. If you can see here, I just kind of picked up three, three 11 O seed beads. And what I want to do is actually just go down. two, two seed, I'm going to skip three seed beads and I'm going to go down two seed beads. Let's see how that looks. And then what I'm going to do is add on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 11 O seed beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to go down I'm gonna actually go down to the very last pyramid and go down that bottom hole. And I know this is a little different, and if you don't wanna use your toggle clasp like that, that's perfectly fine, I completely understand. Um, I like to be a little creative, I like to use the beads that I've purchased, so that is what I'm gonna go with. And if you don't like the O beads with it, then you can eliminate the O beads, but I think it kind of gives it a different dimension. At this point, what you're gonna do um, is kind of, is you're gonna do some knots, kind of knot your piece if you wanna go back through, um, just to kind of give it a little bit more stable, secure um, feel to it. And after you've done that, we're gonna go to the other side and add our clasp. So I'm taking off the stop bead and I'm gonna add my needle to my thread. Oops. And 
So I'm already coming out of the side and that's what I want. So what I'm gonna do here is add um, six 11 seed beads, three, four, five, six. And at that, at that point, I'm actually gonna do the bugle because I kind of like that transition. I thought that was pretty. And then I'm gonna pick up 29, I'm gonna add more. 20, about 20, between 25 and 29, we're gonna have to measure to see. So let's start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I'll add one more for good luck. And what I'm gonna do is actually take my needle back down the bugle bead that I have here. And pull. So, and this is where we're gonna test. I'm just gonna hold my needle and thread. And what I'm gonna do is take my toggle and clasp, just kind of take it through and see if it's big enough or if it's too big. And so far it looks like it's gonna be okay. So this is when I'm going to finish off this side. I'm gonna pick up six more 11 seed beads. Four, five, six. Drop it down and then I'm gonna take my needle to the other side, that last hole in my pyramid to the other side and just pull. And I've created my clasp this way. And at that point, you're gonna take your needle and thread and do the same thing. You're gonna knot it up and glue any pieces that you need to glue if you have any knots that need to be glued. And like I said, if you don't like, if you don't like the way I did my toggle here, um, then you can use just a regular toggle and clasp, that's fine. I like to be a little bit different. Um, it adds dimension and gives it a different look. Um, so I hope you like this tutorial. Please comment below, um, give us some feedback, let us know what we could do better um, and what else we can incorporate in our projects. Check us out um, on potomacbeads.com. If you see any products here that you like and you wanna purchase, you can definitely purchase it online. Um, and we also have some other YouTube videos too. Please visit them, make some more uh, bracelets, jewelry, anything. So hope to get to see you inside one of our stores one of these days. And thanks a lot for watching.